Good morning, good morning. It is 5.30 and I did not want to wake up. It is 5.30. I've made some breakfast. I'm getting ready to make Exo's breakfast and wake them up. It is Friday, so when I clock out, I have three days off. Um, Exo is going to a uh, play tonight at school with some friends. And I have to drive them. So I have to leave by 5.30 at work. So there. Not working. 5.30, I'm clocking out. I got to go somewhere. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I did not want to get up this morning. I was just like, no, I do not want to get up. I didn't want to do it, but I'm up. I've got my coffee right, right there. My coffee, making a grocery list. And that's about it. The cats are harassing me for some food. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a good day. I am going to make more breakfast, get my kid up, and get moving and get my bag packed and all that fun stuff. So I will see you later. I just pulled up to work. And on the way to work, I got pulled over by a cop. And I saw him. I was going, I was, you know, going down the road. And I saw him sitting there because they've been sitting, um down the main street that I drive down because people drive like maniacs, which is great because they need to get these people that drive like maniacs anyway. And I was like, Oh God, wouldn't it be something if he stopped me? Because I don't have a tag in the front. I've only got one in the back. And now my tags are like stolen car, stolen car. I drive by him creeping along. And then like a minute later, he was right behind me. Sirens blaring lights blasting and the only place I could turn off was onto my route because I live by my route <laughs> so there's a the male lady getting anyway um he was very nice he came up and they do they do like when they I guess they have to when they walk up behind your car they have to like touch it I guess in case I were to like drive off or run him over I don't know but he was super nice and I was like I think I know why you pulled me over and I told him, you know, blah, 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 my tags, I'm so sorry. Oh. And then I gave him like the number that the police told me to give the police in case this happened. He was nice. And they went ahead and he said that they took my tags out of the system so that they won't pop up stolen anymore. Man, gosh, darn it. Getting pulled over by the police. That's frightening. Not that I get pulled over a lot. I have before, but it's been a long time. But, oh, they scare me so bad bad it just makes me so nervous and I mean I know I didn't do anything wrong but I'm like handing him my license like you know like oh you know I'm like freaking out but he was nice and I guess because they thought my car was stolen he walks up taps the car and then two other police are like surrounding my car and I was like oh my god so I've got like all these anyway I'm at work and they were nice and I just have got to get to DMV and get this I can't be going around the city uh, I guess just with work and you know it it's I know this is a real reason to have to leave early or come in late I get it I don't want you know I understand that I guess like to me it's like if I do have to leave early then my route's not going to get done and I know the route's not more I get it but it's just like damn anyway it's just I, I just I'm going to do a go tomorrow Saturday. I'm off, so we're going to get this taken care of, but gosh darn it. I hope nobody saw me. I mean, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, so I would think, you know. But yeah, the only place I could pull off was in a morale. <laughs> anyway, so that was exciting, and I don't know. Do you get nervous when the police pull you over? Because listening to these, like, true crime podcasts, and nothing against the police, you know, but I feel like the police... I mean, I know they're good and they're bad and everything there's good and bad, but th they could spin something and like, you could be going to jail. You know what I mean? Like you, they could just, they could make, if they wanted to pin something on you, you're going to get it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not trying to talk badly about them, but I'm just saying, listening to all this true crime that that has happened anyway. There's no crime being pinned on me, but I need to go. I just wanted to tell you about that. So we'll be going to DMV in the morning, which I was going to do anyway, but anyway. All right. I will talk to you later. I'll probably maybe check in for a few minutes on my lunch break.
Hello, it is 8.40 p.m. It's been a while since I talked to you. I'm looking a hot mess. Uh, I need to take a shower. Um, the mail was terrible. And as I was delivering it, I kept getting angrier and angrier. <laughs> because it didn't look like a lot, but it was a lot. Because it was a door-to-door -door of the Langley Federal Credit Union. And this happy man, real happy on this flyer that went to every house. They want people to open a bank account with them. So, maybe somebody will. But anyway, so and then the packages were out of control. Anyway, I got done. I got done at actually like 5 o'clock. And then I came home. Uh, XO has one of their um, BFFs here for the, to spend the night. So XO, the BFF, and the boyfriend um, went to a play at the school, at the high school. So I get, I get home. The play starts at 6. I, I come tearing into the apartment. You know, is everyone ready to go? Because at this time, it's like 520. Are we ready? We didn't leave until like 550. But anyway, they got there, dropped him off at the play. And then um, Bill and I got some uh, dinner. Oh, I look crazy. Bill and I got some dinner. We went uh, to Fuddruckers and had a burger. And then I went um, to Walmart and got some groceries. Came home cleaned up not that they're not that the house is a mess but when I get home from work I like to I get home from work I immediately take Vincent out to use the bathroom got to do it it's just he's got to go and then I come upstairs and I just I tidy up even though there's really nothing that has happened since I've you know no one's been here partying but in my I've got to I've got to like just tidy up make sure everything's cool blah 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 do the cat litter vacuum so I did all that and then by the time I got done with all that it was time to go get the children uh from the play but I mean you know they're teenagers and I get it because to them you know they're going to the school to watch this play at night with no parents and I get it you know so anyway I I was listening to um Stevie Nicks um the song Silver Springs. I was listening to Silver Springs as I'm driving along to the school. And then I'm driving up and I pull into the parking lot. And this parking lot, the school's parking lot is huge. First of all, I pull up. There's nobody in the parking lot. And from listening to true crime, I get a little freaked out now. You know, I'm always telling XO and their friends, like, be careful. Don't talk to people. You know, I'm always like, so I pull up. There's no one in the parking lot. No one. And it's it's like 730 at night. And I was like, what the hell? But I got the Stevie Nicks song playing in the car and I'm cruising. And I'm, and then I look and I see them, the three of them in the middle of the parking lot, running around in circles, like wild fairy children. Okay. Running around in circles and, the, and I, I let them have their moment because, like, it was a moment. It was like, I'm watching these three teenagers just running around. You know, just, you know, of course, one of them is a boy. It's Exo's boyfriend. But they were just having a whole moment. And then just the whole thing of it was, I don't know how to explain it. But it was like a teenage moment that I was watching because... And it was just so pure. I know this sounds crazy, but I was in the moment. It was just so pure. And then they're laughing. And then XO jumps on um, the boyfriend's back. And, you know, he's carting. I don't know. It just was a moment because you're only a teenager for so long. And then you're 46. You know, when those teenage moments are gone. And I don't know. Maybe it was a song and... But it was just kind of, it was kind of cool to see like that, that, that moment that I saw that they didn't know was a moment, but it was. And I don't know. I just feel like that's a memory I'm always going to have. And it probably didn't really mean much. Maybe it did, but you know, teenagers and it's the, whatever. They don't care. We're, you know what I'm saying? 
just another day, but I think I'm always going to remember that couple of minutes that I watched them just, I don't know. It was just kind of like, it was just, it was really cool to watch. And if somebody understands what I'm trying to say, you get what I'm trying to say. But anyway, it almost, I almost wish I had, um, recorded it. Cause it, just for like, even just for me personally, cause it was just so cool. Cause I miss those days of being a teenager and being carefree and, you know, with your friends and anyway. Um, but it's 846 now and I think I'm going to take a shower. Well, I know I'm going to take a shower um, and unwind because <laughs> I just haven't done that since I've been off. I have the next three days off, which I am stoked about. I'm so excited. What am I going to do? I don't know. But tomorrow, um, I know XO and I and I think XO's um, uh, BFF, I think we're going to go peddling around because I got to get the wheel for the hamster. We got to get him some bedding so we can put him into this giant aquarium. So we want to get that going. And I think um, we're going to stop by the guitar, the guitar center because XO's ukulele and um, their acoustic guitar needs a new string. XO has like four guitars that they play regularly and they're pretty good at it too. And the amp, and, I mean, they're all set up. So, so I think we're going to do that and then something else. I don't know, but just kind of hang out and just fart around. So I think that's what we're going to do Saturday. Oh, wait, hold on. Rewind. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to go to DMV. I'm going to get up. DMV opens at eight o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to get there by like 7.15 and just stand there and wait. Hopefully, oh man. And I've got, I went online because I was like, well, let's set an appointment up, which they offer. But the next appointment, like if you want to set an appointment, is not until Tuesday. And uh, I got to be an adult and get up in the morning. So I'm going to go down there in the morning and get that taken care of. And I don't know if they're going to give me like a replacement tag or I don't know, but I don't want to, I don't want to get stopped again. Cause gosh, darn it. Did not like that at all. So I'm going to do that first and then come home and then the rest of the day can continue. But I just wanted to give you an update of my evening. Um, yeah, I had a pretty good evening. It was nice to, um, get a, uh, go eat with uh, bill and get a little burger. Um, yeah, so that was nice. Um, anyway, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good night. I hope you have a good weekend. I'm going to have a good weekend. You know what my favorite song is right now? My favorite song right now, and I've been rocking out to it. I'm trying to learn the words. Jolene by Dolly Parton. And also, um, the Dolly, Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers song. I, I think it's Islands in the Stream. I think that's the name of it. I'm jamming to that one too. But I'm really trying to learn the words to Jolene. So that's what I've been jamming out to. Alright guys, I'm going to go. I will talk to you tomorrow. As always, I'll vlog again tomorrow. Bye everyone.